Biomimicry 101. What is biomimicry? Biomimicry is when scientists solve problems by copying nature. Today, we learn how evolution has already solved some of the world's most complicated design problems, and we give some real-life biomimicry examples. How did looking at shark scales lead to the Olympics banning some swimwear? My name's Chris, and welcome to Science Talk TV. Definitions. There are several different definitions, but I like this one from the Biomimicry Institute. Biomimicry is an approach to innovation that seeks sustainable solutions to human challenges by emulating nature's time-tested patterns and strategies. What this means is that life on Earth has been evolving for over 3.5 billion years. The pressure of natural selection has, in effect, given us billions of years of research and development to study and draw upon. All existing life on Earth has had to evolve brilliant tactics to survive serious past problems. For example, here is an environmental challenge. How did desert beetles evolve to collect water from the air? Can we use that system to help human civilizations? Sometimes nature has better solutions than engineers with supercomputer modeling can think of. The idea of biomimicry is to have biologists join physical engineering teams to help solve some of our most complicated problems. Okay, let's get into some biomimicry examples. Example 1. The Shinkansen 500 bullet train. During the 1990s in Japan, engineers were trying to increase train speeds but they quickly ran into a roadblock. The trains were getting too noisy with speed. The government imposed a 70 decibel noise limit, and this was a big problem specifically when the trains exited tunnels. The bullet trains were creating sonic booms due to sudden changes in air pressure and air resistance that entering and exiting a tunnel create. It is estimated that every 1% faster the trains went, the Sonic's booms were 3% louder. One engineer looked to nature for something that experiences drastic changes in resistance while moving quickly. The engineer had bird watching experience, so the Kingfisher came to mind. It can dive through the air and enter the water without even making a splash. This helps the bird to quietly enter the water and not to startle its prey. The engineering team guessed that the kingfisher's beak was what allowed this to happen. To test this hypothesis, they tried shooting different shaped bullets and found that the shape almost identical to the kingfisher's beak was ideal. This shape drastically changed the pressure dynamics and resulted in the quietest noise upon exiting the barrel. The Japanese equipped the bullet trains with new noses and the sonic boom problem was eliminated. Today, the Japanese bullet trains move quietly at 320 kilometers per hour. Two, bird safe glass. Hundreds of millions of birds die every year from crashing into glass. This not only is sad for the birds, but causes a lot of damage to structures. Obviously, birds can't see the glass because it's clear and they fly so fast. To solve this problem, biologists look to spider webs. Birds never seem to crash into spider webs even the webs that are invisible to the human eye. It turns out spider webs are visible in the ultraviolet spectrum. Do you remember Roy G. Biv? 
Humans can only see colors ranging from red to violet, but birds can see light frequencies beyond violet. So, engineers are developing a glass that looks like spiderwebs to birds by putting invisible UV reflective patterns in it. This should prevent a lot of bird impacts, and hopefully it's cheap enough to implement worldwide. 3. Ship hull coating and swimwear. Ships, especially naval vessels, constantly struggle to look clean and cut through the water quickly. Algae, microbes, and other scum can easily build up on submerged parts of ships. This not only looks gross, but increases drag, which wastes fuel and reduces maximum speed. To solve this problem, researchers examined the shark. These animals are so perfectly evolved for the seas that they have not changed much in 400 million years. Scientists discovered that sharks have self-cleaning, antimicrobial, and superfluid dynamic scales. Most expensive vessels are now coated in a finish mimicking shark scales. This coating is also used to reduce air resistance on some airplanes. The shark scale's shape is so perfect that the Olympics even banned its use in swimwear. 4. The B-2 Stealth Bomber This is my favorite photo involving biomimicry. The B-2 Stealth Bomber costs about two b, -b billion dollars per unit to produce. The development of the most advanced aircraft in the U.S. military is classified, but take a look at it side by side with the Peregrine Falcon. This is the fastest animal on Earth, diving at speeds of up to 390 kilometers per hour. Is it just a coincidence that the Peregrine Falcon and the B-2 Stealth Bomber have the exact same side profile. And five, pain-free needles. Everybody hates needles at the doctor. They hurt, are gross, and uncomfortable. Can you think of a needle in nature that you can't feel at all? I can. The mosquito's nose, or proboscis. If we could feel mosquito bites, we could brush them off before they get the chance to transfer disease. The deadliest animal on Earth has some tricks up its sleeve that researchers are trying to incorporate into new pain-free needles. You probably know what a generic needle looks like, but a mosquito's proboscis is much more complicated. It has serrated edges, vibrates instead of pushing, injects a numbing agent, and has a soft surface. Researchers at The Ohio State University are working on a pain-free needle that mimics the mosquito. I hope these can be made cheaply enough to be disposable. Okay, I think you get the idea, so I'm gonna quickly run through the rest of my examples in just a sentence or two. The Nambian beetle inspired the self-filling water bottle and dew collection nets in Africa. The bumps on a humpback whale's leading fin result in a 30% energy savings when applied to fans and windmills. Thistles and burrs lead to the development of Velcro in 1948. Have you ever had burrs on your clothes or pet? These little hooks are so clingy. Helicopter maple seeds lead to the development of cheap drones that can softly land. The sensors are used to collect environmental information around forest fires. Geckos inspire super sticky reusable tape. Under a microscope, you can see that the gecko's feet are covered in teeny hairs that create polar subatomic van der Waals forces. They can even hang upside down when they are dead. Other applications. 
Biomimicry doesn't just apply to engineering and physical design. It is an emerging field, and I'm interested to learn about these two other applications. Social innovations. We can learn how to better organize and improve relationships by studying wildlife. Can the ways that bees or ants work together teach us anything? Sustainability. Humans are destroying the planet. The ecosystem on Earth has been sustainable for billions of years. What lessons can nature teach us to fix things like global warming, overpopulation, and pollution? How did species in the past survive drastic temperature changes? Future applications. Biomimicry will continue to be an exciting field as we learn more and more about life on Earth. The applications are endless. Can you think of any cool inventions that might have been inspired by nature? Subscribe if you want to learn more about science in an entertaining way. This channel focuses on 101 science education, cool animal facts, and science news. So thanks for watching Science Talk TV.